Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon. No, afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Councilmember Steve Levin, Chair of the Committee on General Welfare, and this morning uh, we are also joined by Council Members uh, Corey Johnson, uh, Fernando Cabrera, Annabelle Palma, and Adrian Adams, and we are expecting uh, a couple of other council members to join us there across the street at a land use vote. Um, uh, today will be the last vote of the General Welfare Committee for this session. I want to thank all of my colleagues uh, who have passed legislation and uh, participated in our oversight hearings in this committee during the past four years. In this last vote, we will be voting on five pieces of legislation, uh, three of which I am sponsoring. Proposed intro 1577A, which is in relation to requiring the Office of Operations or another agent, office or agency to, designated by the mayor to conduct a study regarding client information management systems. Uh, intro 1714A, which is in relation to educational continuity. And intro 1739A, which is in relation to exits from domestic violence emergency shelters. We will also be voting on intro 572A, which is sponsored by Councilmember Elizabeth Crowley, in relation to requiring the Department of Homeless Services to post shelter census data. And propose intro 855B, sponsored by Councilmember Ben Kalos, in relation to a study regarding the feasibility of notifying individuals who may be eligible for public assistance. Um, the legislation we are voting on today covers key areas this committee has addressed this session, how individuals and families interact with multiple social services systems, homeless students, domestic violence, uh, improving, uh, improving the ability to apply for public assistance, and the homelessness crisis. I look forward to continuing to work on all these issues in the upcoming session, and I want to uh, ask if there are any um, members, sponsors of the bills that are here that want to speak. Uh, we've also been joined by council members Gradenchik and Salamanca. Um, and I, I want to uh, also acknowledge uh, committee staff uh, who have been uh, so extraordinary uh, during this term. Uh, Andrea Vasquez, our senior counsel. Um, uh, Tanya Cyrus, our senior policy analyst. Namir Nuzhat, uh, our uh, financial analyst. And Dohini Sampura, our unit head as well as Stacey Award, who is our uh, legal fellow. Um, uh, they have all been extraordinary members of this committee staff who have done great, great work. And uh, just uh, for the record, you know, none of this all uh, gets done without um, the amazing uh, work of, of the staff who uh, put in many, many hours of research and uh, prepare um, all the committee reports for the council and who are instrumental in talking and meeting with uh, uh, leaders and advocates uh, in the field uh, to ensure that this council is being responsive uh, to the needs of the community and in the case of, um, of this committee that is uh, youth in foster care, um, children involved in the child welfare system and their parents, um, individuals uh, and children who uh, and families who are uh, find themselves uh, confronting the challenge of homelessness here in New York City and again um, it's the work of this staff that makes uh, this committee possible. So thank you all uh, very much for your great work. Um, and uh, we've also been joined by Councilmember Vanessa Gibson. Um, hold one moment. Okay, uh, so we will uh, uh, ask the clerk to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on general welfare. All items are coupled. Chair Levine, uh, excuse me, Chair Levin. I vote aye on all. Palma. Aye on all, I respectfully request that my name be added to the bills. Thank you. Cabrera. Aye on all. Gibson. I vote aye on all with my warmest congratulations to our chair. I hope this is the last vote we'll have for the season. Happy holidays to all of you. Great job for the year. Looking forward to our continued partnership. Eye on all. Johnson. I would eye on all, and if I could add my name to the piece of legislation that I'm not currently on. Thank you. Torres. Gordenchik. 
Uh, with thanks to the chairman for his partnership on uh, emergency food, and I hope that we will continue to partner with that and all of our future colleagues, our present colleagues that will stay here uh, to feeding all New Yorkers, I vote aye on all. Salamanca. I vote aye on all, thank you. Adams. I vote aye on all and respectfully request that my name also be added to all pieces of this legislation. By a vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you very much, Mr. Clerk. I just want to uh, also acknowledge Daniel Krupp for his work on the committee as well. And I want to thank uh, my colleague Annabelle Palma uh, for her uh, great work on this committee uh, for 12 years, um, uh, being a leader in make, making sure that uh, every child here in New York City has uh, the opportunities um, to uh, reach their full potential and, and, uh, and have all of the benefits that this city has to offer. And, um, and so I want to thank you, Annabelle, and I look forward uh, to working with you in your new position with the administration starting in January. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll miss you, but we're happy to continue to work with you. Thanks. <laughs> and with that, um, oh, uh, Councilor Kalos, do you want to say a few words on your legislation? We already voted. Oh, yeah. We voted, but that's okay. We haven't closed out the hearing. I want to thank the General Welfare Committee Chair Steve Levin for his uh, assistance at every step uh, with this legislation as well as uh, Committee Counsel Andrea Vasquez who we've worked on so much with over the past four years. I'm going to make a confession. I hate paperwork. I hate it so much. It is a waste of time, it is a waste of money, it is a waste of our natural resources. And I'd like to live in a world where we don't spend all of our time and money taking pieces of paper, filling them out, and then handing them to a person who then hands it to a person, who then hands it to a person, who then hands it to a person, who then hands it to a person. Who then hands it to a person. <laughs> Who, who then enters it into a computer, who then prints it out and hands it to another person. Um, and so the staggering fact is that a lot of New Yorkers are hungry. And when this is one of the wealthiest cities on the planet, I don't know why anyone needs to go hungry, why anyone needs to become homeless, why anyone needs to when there is a government safety net there to help people. And so the first draft of this legislation was to provide benefits to people using the information government already knows from their tax returns. Uh, and so seeing that we might not be able to do that, we worked very closely with the uh, committee council on an A version of the bill that just says, if you apply for one benefit in this city of New York, we have to screen you for at least 40 others and give you those benefits uh, sorry, give you the applications for the benefits. And if you filled out one application, why do you have to fill out that application over again? You can just have that same information put onto all 40 applications. Uh, this is especially important when benefits vary from $25 a year for HEAP to hundreds, if not thousands of dollars a year in the case of senior citizen rent increase exemption or others. Uh, we had a great hearing. Um, in the past four years, we have issued a memorandum 
uh, outlining the legal authority and federal regulations that allow us to do automatic benefits in partnership with NYU, uh, Stewards for Change, the Robin Hood Foundation. Uh, in 2016, we worked with uh, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, uh, who released a $4.5 million application to study this legislation and its impact on health outcomes. And uh, despite the fact that the city did not apply, we did manage to get New York Presbyterian, which is in my district, uh, an award of $4.5 million to move forward on this. Knowing that we needed the software built, we worked with a small company called Intuit, which processes taxes for nearly half of Americans to release their benefit assist source code. Uh, to the world at large, and it's available at the Department of Health and Human Services, GitHub. And uh, we've now, moving forward, uh, we look forward to getting this done next year. Uh, we are passing, and this committee has passed legislation for a study uh, that we expect will be done this time next year. That will hopefully be our Christmas and or Hanukkah or other holidays that you might celebrate present and from then on we hope to just get this done. Uh, just by the numbers, there's 2.3 million people who the city estimates are eligible for SNAP and 550,000 people who don't get it. And uh, our hope and the hypothesis behind this legislation is that if people knew about the benefits they could get, uh, we could feed every hungry person. Uh, Again, I want to thank all the committee members for their positive votes and the committee chair and council for their partnership on this. Congratulations, Councilmember Kalos. Um, and with that, at uh, 12.33 p.m. on December 18th, uh, this hearing is adjourned.